Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya iwal mursalin. Sayyidina wa habibina wa syafi'ina. Wa nuri qulubina wa qurdi ya'inina muhammadin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina muhammadin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi fi kudi lahazatin abada. Aradan ya'amillahi wa afdalihi. Allahumma atina min ladunka rahma wa allimna min ladunka ilma subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim bismillahirrahmanirrahim nawaina ta'allama wa ta'lim wa tadhakkura wa tadhkir wa naf'a wa lindir wa rifada wa istifada wa hatha 'ala at-tamassuki bi kitabillahi wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa da'a ila al ഹനിമ <laughs> Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahumma alhimna ilman nufaqih bihi awamira wa nawahiyaka wa rizuqna fahman a'rifu bihi kaifa nunajika ya arham al-rahimin. Allahumma inna nas'adika fahman nabiyin wa hifza al-mursalin wa ilham al-malaikat al-muqarrabin fi afiyati ya arham al-rahimin. Allahumma aghnina bil'alm wa zayinna bil'alm wa akrimna bil-taqwa wa jamilna bil'afiyah ya arham al-rahimin. Amin. Wassallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Allahumma inna nastawri'uka ma qara'nahu wa ma naqra'hu fi hadha al-majlis wa ma qablahu wa ma ba'dahu fahzhu alayna hatta taruddahu ilayna waqta ihtiyajina ilayhi ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma inna nas'aluka fahma an-nabiyyin wa hifzal mursalin wa ilham al-malaa'ikati al-muqarrabin fi 'afiyati ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma aghnina bil'ilm Allahumma uh, Allahumma ya man maqadid al-umur kulliha bi yadihi wa ilayhi yarji' al-amr kulluh ya fattah ya 'alim ya fattah ya 'alim ya fattah يا عليم افتح علينا فتحا قريبا صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم في بدري ويسر لي وحل العقده من لساني يفقه قولي وسد لساني وهد قلبي وافعل كذلك باحبابي ابدا وارزقنا كمال فتوح العارفين والفقه في الدين مع كمال اخلاص الصدق واليقين والعافيه وغنى ونصر والحفظ ونفع والانتفاع وخيرات الدارين وعلوم الارضين اخر امين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين 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 يا رب العالمين الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله بسم الله so i think we are on a new book right because i think the last lesson um the last time round which was a long time ago uh i think before ramadan right uh, we had these lessons on the reading of on on every saturday evening alhamdulillah after asar you know we have our um uh, relax relaxed session alhamdulillah is relaxed uh, you know on you know um, to an extent right? because it is the words, words of imam al haddad they are enjoyable right but at the same time they are hard hitting mashallah <laughs> right so right, so is our friday is our saturday saturday evening um after asar uh is called rawha no rawha rawha it basically means relaxation to relax try to rest and to sit around and to read books <laughs> together alhamdulillah may this be a culture in our families inshallah right so um we i think we finished with uh, we finished the book um adab suluk murid 
Raya Alhamdulillah We did a khatam as well um, And I want to open up A new book um, By Imam Al-Haddad Because this, this, this Saturday evening We'll be reading Of the books of Imam Al-Haddad And I have a list Of books to go through And I'm going through them In order Right So um, So So uh, we are, we are right now, so we have finished with Arab Silk Mirid, right? And we are opening up a book, um, Imam Al Haddad. So there is it's a new folder on this on the speaker. It is new, new folder, and inshallah, I'll make a new playlist on the um on on the book of assistance, and and I I foresee myself taking a very long time <laughs> in the book of assistance, inshallah, because this is one of the books that that really um. I don't even know how to how to describe it, right? But it's really a very a book that's very 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 close to my heart. Um, and it's it's a book that uh that that I, that, we, that I myself I took it uh completely with Al Habib Nur, um, and she took I think about I think a, a good four years. Right? from the time I, I arrived in Darim, she began the book, and when I when I when I left Darim, she completed the book, right? So um uh, we had a khatam a khatam at at the grave of Imam Al Haddad. You know we were. Um, we were we were we had a khatam at the grave of Imam Al Haddad, and uh, and 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 mashallah, like was 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 a very mashallah event, you know, mashallah, right? So what I would like to do, right, is if possible, um, is that with the book that we are doing Imam Al Haddad's books and this and with this, with this lessons, right? Um, Allahumma sadi ala sidna Muhammad. Now with this lessons, right? Uh, what I would like to do, right, is that. Um, if possible, because Imam Al Haddad is a D1, right? And I and I really like his D1. <laughs> so I want to sing from his. No, not not I sing, right? But I want that you know that if someone can 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 sing from the D1 of Imam Al Haddad, right? That'd be very sweet, you know. Mashallah, right? And if no one's gonna sing, I'm just gonna read right from the D1 of Imam Al Haddad, right? So um, this is what I, I would like to do, right? So today we're gonna I'm, and I want to begin um from the D1 of Imam Al Haddad. Right, so from the uh begin from the begin from the from the one Imam Al Haddad, and just to read through it lah, <laughs> mashallah. Right, and then that, that people can um uh like appreciate right what he has written, um or sing you know through what he has written you know of the words that he has written, inshallah um as part of our uh just just our you know attachment and our um holding on to and our following of the great Imam the great great the great uh Qutub and right, the great Wali. Um, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Hold on eh? Let me just Let me just try and see Is my internet um, Not Not strong Let's see what's, what's wrong With my internet Is Okay, is it is it okay? Is my voice okay? Is it getting cut off? Okay, if it is, I don't know why it's getting cut off. Let <laughs> me figure out why is it getting cut off. Um, okay. Um, all right. So the book of assistance, eh? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Uh, so the I'm I'm gonna teach from my Arabic book, right? But I I found this PDF online. I don't know why I found this one. Um, I know the English uh PDF is it looks different in the front, right? So I don't know <laughs> where I found this one, All right? But um, yeah. So whatever English that you use, whatever English PDF that you're using, um, you can use it, <laughs> right? So uh, if you have to me, they can use that one. But I found this one. And I think it's quite clear. So, but I'll be teaching for my Arabic one anyway. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, so, from the book, Risalatul Mu'awana wal Mu'ahara wal Mu'azara li raghibina min al-meena fi suluki tariq al-akhira dil imam al-shaykh al-shaykh al-islam qutub al-da'wati wal irshad al-habib abdullah bin alawi al-haddad الحضرمي الشافعي رحمه الله تعالى ونفعنا الله به وبعلمه في الدارين. Right from the book, رسالة. So رسالة basically means in Arab, in English, you would describe رسالة to be treaties, right? Treaties or a 
or a, um, a letter, right? Risala is a letter or a treatise. Like basically, the short message, right? So they don't they don't actually call this kind of books kitab, right? Because kitab to them like a book, a book book, right? Something that is like heavy and major, and it's like you know, um, uh, it it it's 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 yeah, you know, it, it's it's like it's it's heavy stuff. Right, so these things whereby it's it's very light, it's like a like a like a shift to students. But it is it is termed as a risala. Right? Risala meaning like a like a letter. Right. So it's a letter of advice. So, so, so usually in English you find the word treaties. Okay. So we're going through the title first, the title of the book, which is Risala. So there are three words that Imam al Haddad used here at the beginning of his. Um, of his treaties, which I okay. I'm, let me just let me just bring bring this back up here, okay. And I am going to the, okay. So as we say, we're doing we're doing a rawha, <laughs> we're doing a relaxed uh after asar lesson, right? So um, it's a rawha, right? So it, uh, I'm just gonna take my time and explain all of these things. I will take my time to go through the book also, <laughs> right? So I would I can take as long as I want. Um, alhamdulillah. Okay. Um. So the 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 Arabic right goes. If you just look at it, if you if you if you are interested in Arabic, so it goes risala, risala to. Why is it red? Change color green. Change color blue. Okay. Risala to. Allahumma sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Mu awana. Mu awana. Risala to mu awana. Wa al mu wa ha ra okay wa wal mu azara okay mu a zara okay risalat al muawana wal muza wal mudaha wal muara this is a this is a full um a title of this book that we are reading right now. Right, the, the so risala, I do risala. Right, oh, so no, risala. Right, you 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 understand it to be right treaties, right treaties, right or letter, right. So basically, it's an external. It is used to refer to. Short works that that um to be more personal in nature. Okay, alright. So that will be treaties. Okay, it's risala. Right. So it, um and for most books you might find the word risala. Right. So it's not kitab. Right. So kitab will be a a bigger um like a bigger project like or bigger writing. It's right? so something that is more scholarly. Is they're all scholarly, yes, but something more academic. It was something more academic right, in that way. Risala is something more casual. Right? It is on a on a on a on a casual that's more I would say personal casual, eh? Casual. Right. That is more casual in nature. Okay. Let's look at all the, the three different words that Imam Al Haddad used to go through the title or, or to use he that he that, that, that is used um to name his book right and don't and don't think that that okay this this words yes they are similar in their meaning right but al hababa nur mashallah whenever she, we will learn this we will learn this book from her right she would always every single lesson without fail right she would do a short sharah of she would do a short explanation of a title Every single lesson without fail, without fail, eh? without fail, she would do a short explanation of the title, right? And she said, and she would say over and over again, the reason why I'm doing this, she would say over and over again, if, if you don't understand the title, you will never understand the book, right? If you don't understand the title, you will never understand the book. Right, mashallah, you know, like someone would never, would never say, you know, know what are the titles about, right? Learn the title, <laughs> right? Understand the title, understand what is the Imam saying, right, in his title, right? So when we, when we took the other book, the previous book, Adab Suluk al Murid, right? So what are we looking at here? Adab, right? Adab of what is the etiquette, right? The etiquette of the inner self, right? Of what? Of someone's path to Allah, right? The Suluk, right? The Suluk is the, is the, is the spiritual path, and the Murid is from the word Arada, Yuridu, right? Iradatan, which is basically to want, to desire, 
And it's someone who, you know, who wants to go on this path, the one who is seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the etiquette for such an individual before he can get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Right, so, you know, the, the, the entire key to the book is right in its name. Right? What is the book called? Right? What is its name? And, and you know, subhanAllah, you know, you can even, you, can, you know, subhanAllah, like, like, like um, you, you can even look at this, you know, at the Quran. What is the Quran? What is the meaning of the word Quran? When I say Quran, what does Quran mean? Right, do you know what Quran means? You know, what is the Quran? Yes. But what does Quran mean? What is the meaning of the word Quran? And the word Quran comes from the word Qira'ah. Right? Qira'ah meaning, meaning to read. So Quran, it is on a uh, mubalagha form. Right? It is on a, you know, it is on a, on a, on a you say, um, hyperbolized form, I guess is the word in English. Uh, it is it's on a mubalagha form. Uh, it is something that is, you know, um, uh, extended you know, on, 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 its, on its most extensive form and um, uh, to the highest degree and on a repetition. Uh, it, it, it is, it is, it is, so, so the word Quran has a meaning of reading first and foremost repeatedly. Uh, to read something, uh, it is it is a text, or it is uh, you know it is a text that is read re repeatedly, and it is read intensively. That is that is you know that that, that is you know uh, that is abundant reading and also intensive reading right, into the Quran. So it's Quran. Right? It is read and it's read and it's read and it's read and it's read. Right? And, and you see from there, you understand the, the secrets of the Quran. Right? That if you really want to understand this Quran, what do you have to do? You have to read it over and over again. You have to keep reading it. You have to keep reading it deeply. You got to read, keep read it abundantly. You got to read it. You got to read it all the time. You got to just be with the Quran. Right? And then the Quran will open up itself to you. You know, mashallah. Right? So, so in any in any works, right? So if like, like, I'm just looking at my, 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 my books arranged in front of me. And I'm looking at all the different titles of the of, of each of these books. You know, but and, and, and so like for example, and I see one of me, Minaj al Abidin. Right? So Minaj al Abidin, right? So again, the, the the explanation of the title, you know, and this is something that I really I miss about her, about her Banu. <laughs> she will say things that really, you know, like it will just blow your mind, mashallah. And and and, and she'll do it every single lesson. You know, and she's so oh, mashallah, mashallah. You know, and you can you can you can see, you know, that the way whereby she teaches is very unique to her, and you can see is that is taken directly from her father, Habib Muhammad Al Haddar. Uh, it is you can see it's, it's taken directly from her father the way she teaches uh, the way how Banur teaches the way how Maram teaches it is different uh, they're, all, they're all you know great teachers but they teach the way their fathers teach <laughs> exactly you know, exactly mashallah so when you take from all of them then you're like oh mashallah you know they have their, their, their ways of teaching you know mashallah right? so like if I look at the word at, 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 at the book Minhaj Al-Abidin so Minhaj I understand the word Minhaj uh, it is a way it is a path it is a way of, way of life it is it is a mentality you know it is a uh, it is a it is a, a a, a, a path that, 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 that requires striving in it. It is a way. It, it is a way, right? And al abidin, al abidin from the word from the word ibadah or the word abd, right? The slave. Right? So again, this book is is what it is a path, you know, of the worshipful servant, right? a servant who is a slave of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, knowing that they are slaves of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and that they are that and, and and that their life is all about worship and how to get to worship and how to succeed in worship and how to purify worship and everything about worship, and that's what the book is about. Right, Subhanallah. So you you can't come into a book and you don't understand the meaning of the you don't understand the meaning of the title of the book. You got to know what the meaning of the title of the book is. Right, so begin uh, bidayatul hidayah, right? the beginning of guidance. Right, so so what is what is what does it what do you mean by beginning and what do you mean by guidance? So again, you know, <laughs> every book, right, the title itself, and then also dwelling on the title itself. You know, um, um, uh, reflecting on the title itself. You know, pondering over it, understanding it opens for you a wide door. Right? In fact, many, many, many white doors right, to the secrets held in the book and the deeper meanings that, that, that is in the book just by giving the title time right, to understand. And I did not finish writing the, the title actually. The title is longer than this. It is Risalatul Mu'awana Wal Muzahara Wal Mu'azara Lil Lil Ra Ghi Bina can you see the word the Arabic there? Right. Lil Lil Ragibina Minal Mu'minin. I can't remember if I began this book. I don't think I did. But now I feel as if I did. Minal Mu'minin fi 
ايه بسم الله في سلوك في سلوك طريقي طريقي الاخره اوكي رسالة المعاونة والمزاهرة والمؤازرة لل so I'm gonna put this down سكن سكن الرو اوكي okay. للراغبين من المؤمنين في سلوك ال... في سلوك طريق الآخرة اوكي okay. let me just translate the entire eh why did it go down what about this okay let me just translate the entire thing into English first then we will we will analyze each of the um uh each of the words eh? right so it is the the treaties of okay so muawana mutual assistance All right muzahara i'm just giving a very vague translation All right but I want this is why I want to analyze each of the words. <laughs> right, so that we can we can go deeper into the words and um uh, and thinking about how about it basically. I right, so go deeper into the words and, and open our understanding, open our open our open our idea, right? Open our mind as to what is intended with this book. You know, the, the, the treaties of mutual assistance, mutual support. Why is my so big? Okay, mutual support, muzahara, right? Right, and mutual. Wa muazara. Let's see what's a good word to use for this one. Allah wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, my initial strengthening. Okay, for those who have a strong desire from amongst the believers in the path in traversing. The path, the path of the year after. It is a whole title, mashallah, eh? mashallah. That's right. The, the, the title itself is a is a full talk. <laughs> you know, the title itself is one whole um that you would say one whole, you know, one one whole drama, one one whole lecture. That just the title you can do not just one, you can do several. Um, you know, uh, lectures on just the title. You know, just just staying there in the wire title. So anyway, um, okay. So the treaties of mutual assistance, mutual support, and mutual strengthening for those who have a strong right, for raghibin, right, for those who have a strong desire. Right, so raghibin and raghba. Right, raghba meaning really a, a strong yearning, a desire. Um, that really want it, right? From amongst the believers in traversing the path of the hereafter. Okay, right. So okay, so going into the every word of the, um, this is not a reading of the book. Eh? Now I'm now I realize that it's supposed to be a reading. <laughs> so this is not this is like a full shara. Right, but now it's okay. It's okay. Whatever Allah wants us to, wants us to um learn. <laughs> Inshallah. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad. Nam. Right, so uh, uh, so the word risala, right, so treaties letter that is used to refer to shorter, shorter works that tend to be more casual in nature. Right, you might think it's like, is this casual? This is not. This does not sound casual at all, <laughs> right? But um, mashallah, you know, mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Um, it is uh compared to other more heavy works, right? Other heavier works, right? This would we would be um described to be as something more casual on, on the casual side. All right, so um. Um, so risala al muawana. That's the first one we're gonna we're gonna take. Okay, al mu Allah, al mu a wa na. Okay, al muawana right is from the Arabic word aun. Allah, why good that way? 
Okay. From the Arabic word Aun. Right. Okay. Right, whereby a familiar hadith would be that um that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi'aunil abd. Right? Allah is in the assistance of his um servant, right? For as long as an abd fi'auni akhihi. Aun, right? The other time whereby we might come across this term, um uh uh, whereby it will be familiar to us this term is the is the is the dua that you make after every prayer right? whereby you say Allahumma uh, inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibaratik Allahumma uh, inni right? so uh, inni right here right, would be um, assist me right? uh, inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibaratik i'm going in order of you know my lessons that, that we have taken with al hababanur right so i i will come into a tarjama right, into a um like, like a biography of imam al haddad right, but inshallah um soon <laughs> right we will come into his biography soon and we and with every and and of course we have done his biography with the other book um Arab Murid, right? But we will do it again. Right? And, and every single time we, when you when we speak about Imam Haddad, right, more and more information, more and more, you know, um stories, right, more and more <laughs> things um will come. I right, will come to us. Uh uh and, and mashallah, because I wrote from Hababa Hababa, no, there are a lot of things in here that she mentioned, right, that about Imam Haddad, but inshallah we can share. Right, so the word al muawana right, is from the Arabic word aun. Right, so in Arabic, Arabic, the Arabic word aun is a form of um assistance. Right, it's, it's a help. It's a form of assistance, and it is it tends to be to be um used right in a way right to mean um help on something right, that someone is unable to do. Okay, that someone is or someone struggles with a lot. Right, so it's 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 different from musaada. Right, so Musa'ada has a different meaning, right? Uh, with regards to Aun, it, it, Musa'ada has a different meaning uh, compared to Aun, right? So, 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 so Aun, um, uh, Musa'ada tends Musa'ada tends to be more of to help someone in something they can actually do, right? They can actually do it themselves, but it's helping them out, right? So, like for example, that you would say, um, you would say, like if someone's carrying like, like some heavy books, for example, eh, and they are able to do it. Right, they are able to do it. They can carry those books. Right? But you just care, you know, poor, you know, that poor guy is carrying a lot of heavy books. I'll help him. I'll I'll go and help help him help him. I'll go and help him out. So I'll just, you know, take some books off of him and I'll carry the books for him. Right? He does he actually need that help? The answer is no. Is he appreciative for the help? The answer is yes. That's kind of like Musaada. Right? That is in a sense that help me out something that I can that I can um that I can handle. Right, so but aun right tends to be um, on the side of uh, helping someone out right, in a, in something that it is that they can't do that right? it's difficult for them to do. Right, so for example, right, in in the dua, it is clear, right? Um, Allahumma a'inni, right? oh Allah, help me, right? Uh, ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibaratik, right? To remember you. Right, uh, and, and to be grateful to you and to perfect my um uh, worship of you. And here we know that um we know that we are unable to when it comes to remembering Allah and, and to being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to um and to be and and, and 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 to perfect our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we cannot or we are unable to do it ourselves. We cannot. I, we, we can't we can't do it ourselves we desperately need the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right? so therefore we will ask Allah to help us right so we need we desperately need the help of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this case right so that is the word um, that is the form of aun right so mu'awana right? so mu'awana it is like you say it is a necessary type of help right a necessary type of help right? a necessary type of, of assistance like a necessary type of relief, support, or back or backing. I right? that will be the meaning of um of 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 aun, of of a general sort of meaning, right? So um a necessary right, type of help. Okay, and and mashallah, the Arabic language is very, it's very specific, right? So they have different words for different 
um, types of things. Right? So they have like many words to describe love, whereas English has like one word more or less to describe love. Um, and so the Arabs are very specific what kind of love. Um, when you speak about help, right? And, um, and in English, they would probably describe like all three words, mu'awana, muzahara, mu'azara, all to mean help. They all, they all they all technically mean help, right? So, but it's but the Imam has put all three names not for no reason, right? Because they all have different, you know, aspects to them, right? So the Arabic word aun a right, necessary type of help. Um, and the form mu'awana, right? Mu'awana is from a third form in the Arabic language, right? And and all three words here are on a third form. Right? Third form has an automatic has an has a, has a meaning, it's an intrinsic, not automatic, but intrinsic. It's an intrinsic meaning in the words itself to mean mutual. All right. So when I say um al mutahabin, al mutaha al mutahabun, right? Those who love each other. Okay. So with that form, al 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 fa'il yufa fa'ala yufa'il often fa'ala yufa'ilu mufa'ala right fa'ala yufa'ilu mufa'ala has a meaning that is like there is a mutual, you know, um, there's a mutual action between two people, right? Um, and, and, and a very clear example that we know about is in Surah Asr, right? Whereby Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسَوْا بِالْحَقِّ right? وَتَوَاسَوْا right? وَتَوَاسَوْا right? So there is a... Um, you know, there, there is a mutual, you know, um, advice right, to each other in, in, in the form of the Arabic. Right? So, mu'awana right, has the meaning of being mutual. Right? So, I will type it here and I will just say that the, uh, the, um, the form of the word has an intrin intrinsic meaning of um of many doing this act to each other right a mutual action act okay all right so the word mu'a so instead of saying aun I aun I say mu'a wana a wana you a we know mu'a wana right so it has a meaning of that many people involved Right, there are many people involved and they're helping each other on this. So this treatise is a treatise of brotherhood. Right, so what you're seeing here is a treatise of brotherhood. Right, because from a title itself, you will see that there is an that there, there, there has to be more than one person that is involved. It's not him just you know um, instructing his student on what to do, what to do, what to do. No, but it is him first and foremost instructing himself, as he will say in the um, introduction of this book, he will he will mention this, right? But it's also him. Um, also, of course, he he instructs himself, right? At the same time, you know, there is this togetherness with him, and he is writing this book to his um student and also his uh, you would say his brother Fillah, right? His brother Fillah, which is Al Habib uh, Ahmad bin Zain, and right? Habib Ahmad bin Zain, he is the one who wrote Risalatul Risala Jamia. Right, um, and he is, you would say, the very close companion of Imam al-Haddad. Right? He was a servant of Imam al-Haddad in writing um, for Imam al-Haddad his books. And he is a um, very close student of Imam al-Haddad. And he is the brother uh, by Allah. Right? Brother, he's a brother fillah. Right? He's a brother, you know, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, for Imam al-Haddad. And this is, this is Habib Ahmad bin Zin, right? al-Habshi. Right, so he is the one whom Imam Al Haddad is writing to, right, in this book, and he's also addressing himself. But it's a book of brotherhood, right? So, so I will say here, right, this, right. So understand that this is a book of brotherhood, okay, of togetherness and brotherhood, right? So, it, um, from the word treaties, right, what we understand that it is. Um, that it is, uh, how do I say this? Eh? I understand that it is like a conversation from someone. Uh, who 
case with not from with Okay, and so you are listening to him speak, and so in much like the books of Imam Al-Haddad as well, and also Imam Al-Ghazali, right? You will find you know a lot of personal voice in their books. So when you go to their books, you feel that they are speaking to you directly. No, Inshallah. Right. So Muawana. Okay. So so there is a meaning of Muawana. Then we're going into the next word Muzahara. Right. So when we speak about the word Muzahara, right? Zahara. Right. So the word Zahara. Alad. Must be here. Should I clear this? Can I clear this? So I can write some more. Let me get smaller. Lie. All right. Can see? I hope you can see. Um, El Mu Va Ha Ro. So al muzahara from the word zahar okay, from, and again the the form of the word you can see there's a pattern right. So alif lam alif lam mim and mim on on the dhamma, and then you have the root words ain wa nun root words zahara alif in between alif in between tamar buta tamar buta. Can you see that there is a pattern right, in the word? This is basically a structure. This is a third structure, the, the third form in the Arabic language, which has this 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 um uh. Uh, this what do you call this? Uh, understanding and uh, this understanding of this implementation or this this uh meaning uh, that it has an interesting meaning that is is between many people like uh, coming together. Right, so muzahara from the word zahara. Okay, right, which literally means back. Right, your back. It means your um means back, right? Or the back of the body. Right? So like saying I've got your back. Okay. Right, so in English, so even in English, we use the same term. We say I've got your back. Right. So the word zahr, I do zahr is your back, right? In the in the Arabic language. Right. So zahar, right, it is something that is, you know, evident is obvious, but specifically here it means the back. Right, so when you go into the word muzahara, I right, said so muzahara means to give your back, right? To give your back and to, to, to give support, right, to each other, right? To give support, to give strength, right, to each other, to give each other your back, right? So it um that's why you see the word mutual support. Right? So from understanding that you're gonna um uh you know have people lean on you. So with mu'awana, right, you will go out, you you will go all out to assist someone on the path. You know, muzahara has a meaning that when people are feeling weak and they're feeling discouraged, you know, and they're feeling unable, that you let them lean on you. You allow for them to lean on you. And to, you know, um, so while they're trying to get their way through this world and on this path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because remember that the title of the book has two lines. <laughs> right? There is a first line and a second line. So the, to say the book of assistance, yes, I know that they always use um, that you always find this um, this title for this book, the book of assistance. Right, but now I hope you are seeing what I'm trying to do. Right, uh, not what I'm trying to do, but what? How about how how about taught this to us? <laughs> it's how how about taught this to us? Right, so how about no? Um, this is how they taught us. You know, so they don't they, they won't just like come through with the book of assistance. Okay, page one. They won't do that, right? So you're like book of assistance. What does that mean? You know, and and I know when I the first time I encountered this book, I was um in university. I was in university in NUS, and it was in the NUS. It was in the NUS library. <laughs> right, the book of assistance you can find it in the public NLB, right, the public uh, libraries in Singapore. You can find it there, the English book, and you can find it also in the NUS libraries. Right, so I actually borrowed the book from the, from from. I think it was in NUS. I I borrowed the book first from a public library. Right, I read the first few pages. Didn't understand what, what it was. <laughs> I didn't understand it, so I I give it back. Then I, when I was, and then in NUS I saw it again. I picked it up again, you know, I read the first few pages again, and then I put it back again. <laughs> and then um, later on, when, um, you know, when I went to study uh, as I do now, right, they were teaching it in, in a nearby mosque, um, Sidi Usama Kenan, may Allah have mercy on his soul. Uh, he was teaching it in a, in a mosque nearby. So I used to go there um, on the weekends to, to, to learn something. You know, from the books and I just I still remember like you know all this you know like and but the entire time I was sticking to myself you know like like why is it called the book of assistance 
right? You know, why is it called the Book of Assistance? Like, isn't it? It's an interesting title, right? It's an interesting title that that someone might not think it is even Islamic. They might think like, oh, what, what is this? Is this like self help? Is this is this you know <laughs> like some? Like, I mean, like someone might might not might not understand um, the meaning of this book, right? So so in going through the words that that was used by Imam Al Haddad, I hope this this what what is happening is that you are your mind is opening up to what this book is about. Right. So going through this book is basically us, you know, holding our hands, hand in hand, coming together, coming onto a path, right? desiring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the raghibin ibn al mu'minin, you know, of the believers who are desirous. Right? They are desirous of what? Fisuluki tariq al akhirah. They want to, they, they want to tread this path. They want to traverse this path. They want to come on this path. They are serious. They are serious about their path to the, to the hereafter. They are serious about their path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This book, and how Banu Shu said over and over again, this book is not for someone who is half-half. Right? It's not for someone who's like, you know, not really want, don't really know what I want. I don't know whether I want to try this. I don't know. No, it's for someone who wants this. Right? You want to succeed. You want the hereafter. You want, you want, you want um the best for your for your for your here for your, for your afterlife, right? for your next for the next world. You want this. Right, but but in wanting this, you need help, and you know you need help. Right? You need help from those around you. Right, so muawana right, is that is that for example, muawana will be like you know me sitting sitting down with sitting down with you, and maybe you know or, or maybe any of us sitting down with sitting down with each other, and like for example, teaching you know someone else to read the Quran or teaching someone else to pray or you know and so on. I just it's mu'awana to, to help them, right? To help them, you know, in their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you assist them. Then muzahara is when people, you know, they, they, they feel they feel weak, you know, um, they, they feel tired, right? They, they don't have the, the himma anymore, don't have the drive anymore. And therefore you come and you and you give your back. I say, you know, you know what, I'll 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 drive you there. You know what, you know, come, you know, I'll 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 bring you along. You know what, you know, I will I will read it and you follow me. Right, in a sense, right. So in a sense, you give the, you're giving them, you know, some some giving them your back, right? Right. So you can lean on me when you when you feel tired. That is muzahara. Right. So let me just put the implications of this word. Right. So um, understanding. Right. Understand. Understand. That this book eh, of brotherhood and helping each other to obey Allah. Okay, that understand that this book is to teach us or, or is to be a um a form of support right when we feel weakened or we feel weak okay all right so so it is a risal al muawana right so um so this book will call those who read this book right it will call them towards guidance it will call them towards goodness it will teach them to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this book as well if you feel you're on iman law if you feel that your your himma is just not there your drive is just not there you you're flopping you know every day you're not you're not doing what you want to do you know you really fall short in your acts of worship right if you really feel you're getting worse then read this book Right, because with the intention in the word muzahara that Imam Al Haddad has your back. <laughs> right, Imam Al Haddad is giving you assistance. Imam Al Haddad is 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 you know um is is pushing you, is carrying you along. Right, that is with that muzahara. Right, and the last one muazara. Okay, al mu mu a za. Rock. Okay, right. So al muazara from the word azar, right? Azara. Azara. Okay, and it's not a common word right, to be used. Okay, right. So azara, right? So azara. Right, to surround, right, the izar. The izar is like a waist cloth. Right, the izar is a waist cloth because it surrounds the waist. 
right so and if, if you know the the origin of the word azara means right to surround right so you can understand what this means right so um you know so so you can say when you, when you surround someone or you encompass someone or you wrap up someone you cover someone that means you strengthen them and you brace them Right, you strengthen them and that you brace them. Right, so basically you you are going around them, you know, and giving them the strength, right, for them to continue on their worship to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, right, to surround and encompass. Right, so hence, right, um, let me see. Hence, this is this brings a meaning of strengthening. Okay, let me give an example. Okay. Right. So, uh, so, 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 for example, eh, if we say we take the we take the example of having um, certainty, yakin, and this is the, of the first few chapters that we're going to take in this book, yakin, right? Having certainty. Okay. So, so, muawana, right? so muawana, like would be you know a person teaching someone else about yakin, bring out the Quranic verses about yakin. You know, um, and going through you know what we believe in, so as to strengthen someone's yakin. Right, so there's a lot of education there, teaching and education. Okay, as this person who's learning about yakin, they're learning and they're learning and learning about yakin, and this is we will apply across the board. Will apply, will, so yakin is part of our akida. Right, it's part of our akida. So you apply to your akida knowledges. You apply to the your fiqh your, uh, knowledges, your experience, and you apply to um uh, akhlaq uh, in the, the the inner sciences. Right. So if someone were to teach you yakin, for example, right, then okay, you understand it. You know what's about. You understand it. You know how to increase it. You know how to, you, know, you know when it decreases and so on. But maybe something happened to you in life that made your yakin shake. Right, so basically, you find that your yakin is shaking. If something happened to a person, then they find like you know all their zikr and their Quran and so on. That they've been doing right, and they, they they don't see you know the 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 point of it, or they don't see the, the 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 importance of it, right? So so they you know they 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 feel discouraged or down and not wanting to continue with this. So in them reading about this, in, in, in going back to this book and reading this book, like it will push them further to continue. Right, to just continue right, seeking yaqeen, continue with this acts of obedience, right, continue seeking yaqeen. Right? And that is the muzahara, right? that is the support, right? the support um, that, that it comes. And then, um, with more and more you know, education from the book, right, or more and more reminders and more and more lessons, and so now it is, a, it, 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 is, it, is, it is direct application in that person's life, it becomes a muazara. Uh, which becomes like a, a strengthening from inside, and so now the person will, as they as they push through and they stretch through whatever they're going through, you know, and in in, in a in a in a plight or in a in a or in in a ex, uh, attempt right to increase their yakin, right to increase their, their their serenity, right? They they strengthen themselves, right, and um they strengthen their iman, they strengthen their aqidah, right, and so now. Um, they are solid on the inside, and they're solid on the inside, right? And uh, and firm, you know, on their inside, and that is muazara, right? So here, right, it is um with, right, with um assistance and support, a person then becomes strengthened from within. Okay, right, so so that is what you eventually want to do, right? Because eventually, with brotherhood, right, you're together on the path, you're helping each other out. But we all die, right? We all die. Nobody is gonna be with someone all the time. People come and people go. People die. People leave. People get busy. People, you know, things happen to people. So you can't be reliant on people all the time. Right? And so the whole point, right, is to come to a level of strengthening. I right, be strong. I right, strengthen. Be strengthened. Right, so you can carry on. You know, with this, with this religion, carry on with the practices, carry on with this life. You know, mashallah. And that is what we see with our Prophet sallallahu alaihi You know that he assisted the companions. Then he gave his back and his support to the companions. Then he strengthened the companions, and then he left the world. 
right? And then they were strong to carry on, right? The message thereafter. And then they become beacons of light. They become people to assist other people, to support other people, to strengthen other people. And then they pass on. And these other people continue in life and so on and so forth. MashaAllah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, we are done. We have five more minutes left. It's only an hour's class, and eh? not 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 until seven. <laughs> it's only six thirty. So, it, um, are there any questions? Any questions? Let's see. It goes away. Okay. Are there any questions? Okay, there are no questions. Um. Let's open the D1. D1 of Imam Al Haddad. Who wants to sing? Who wants to sing? Or sing any 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 of the of the Nashids of Muhammad. But the one is a lot of nice nashids, mashallah. Nice writings. Someone type the word Zahara, yes. What's with the word Zahara? It means Zahara means back. Zahara means back. Right? The Zahar. Right? Your, your Zahar is your back. Mm -hmm. And your back is apparent anyway, right? Your back is apparent anyway. So the word apparent comes from there because the back is apparent, right? But the word that is being uh, that is being taken here is the word back, and not the word apparent. Okay. Anybody wants to sing a Qasida by Imam Muhammad Haddad? Nobody wants to sing. Thank you. Yeah? Can you hear me or not? Was it? Yeah, but... Was that? I cannot hear. Are you speaking? Am I the one who cannot hear? <laughs> I hear a beep. I hear a beep. 